Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarns podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. You can find me on Instagram at Ravelry at 72 Stitches. This is episode 195. This is my YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, cross stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. And today is Friday, March. March 17th. <laughs> I'm looking at my wrong show notes. I'm looking at last week. March 17th, 2023. Oh my, it's going to be one of those episodes, huh? Um, I got my coffee in my Scrappy Knitting Queen mug. And this is the last of the pumpkin spice creamer, guys. This is it. This is the last one. So, cheers. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd have enough for the week and it just it ended right on Friday which is recording day so today I have finished objects and whips and that's pretty much it I don't have any stash um, I bought some stitch markers I will talk I think I talked about that last week one of my coffee cup stitch markers from Twin Mountain Twin Mountain handcrafts it broke. I think I talked about that last week. Anyway, it broke and so I bought new ones and I think they're coming today or tomorrow. So I don't have them yet. But yeah. I don't know how it broke. I I think I know why it broke now. Sometimes my uh it's this bl the blanket is for my youngest and she's been wearing it sometimes when I'm not working on it, so I can see why it got broken now because she likes to fling that blanket around <laughs> and has markers on it. So I told her to be careful with it. It's got my precious stitch markers on it. Okay, let's talk about finished objects. Oh, first, before I, before you guys get excited, because I'm sure you're like, what, what, did you finish? Did you finish it? I didn't finish it. We'll talk about this in whips. I'm wearing my whip today. So we'll talk about this in whips. It is not done. <laughs> okay, my finished object though, I do have one. I almost didn't. I was, it was like Wednesday and I'm like, well, I guess I'm not gonna have any finished objects this week because I was very focused on this. But, um, yeah, I finished this yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm really close to being done with my muscle butter hat. So, Oh, uh, where was I? I don't, I think I was like here yesterday and then I just finished. I had to do a couple rows of color. I w was hoping to do it a little bit longer because I like to make them, I like to do about like 18 or 19 inches from the crown to before I do the other crown and I ran out of yarn. So I had to stop about I think it was 17 or 17 and a half inches so I used two balls of this is Knitpicks Felici Secret Garden I didn't weigh them before I should have um, they shorted me I guess because this is 82 grams and I had out of the two balls I know I had to cut out some for striping purposes but I feel like it was only one stripe I cut out We'll say one or two stripes I had to cut out. And then I left of two balls, I think I had three stripes of each color. Or two and three, I don't remember. But. So this is the Muscle Burra hat. I did modifications and I did two decreases instead of an increase. So we'll do this. Boop. And I don't know if you can tell, uh, this side, so there's two balls. Yeah, you can definitely tell. So this ball was very was more saturated than this ball. Like that lime green is really poking out on this one than this one. So I decided to just put this one in the inside. So yeah. So this was 82 grams. And then you just kind of like it's hard to do on camera, but you just like <laughs> you fold it in on itself. Like so. 
Give it a little shimmy shake. <laughs> but it fits and it's still slouchy. Um, I cannot, well, I can fold up the brim, but then it's not as slouchy and it's only like this much I can fold over. So it is a little short, but I usually don't wear them rolled up. I just like the, you know, the fingering light double thickness and it's good for me and I love this and self-striping is the best. So this will not be my last nitpicks or yeah, maybe nitpicks or self-striping um, muscle bra. Let's see, I used US 3s. I did the adult medium. I did the stitch count for 128 stitches but my gauge was eight, st eight stitches per inch. So if I did the eight stitches, I did that once and it was too big. So instead of changing my needle, because I, I like the, the um, fabric I'm getting, I just um, went down to seven stitches per inch, which is 128 stitches total. So yep, that's my muscle wear. 82 grams. Love it. I have some, I have two skeins of this because uh, my friend Amy from Happy Little Yarn got me this for Christmas. I think it was Christmas. And then it's called Happy Dance. And then Freckled Whimsy decided, came out with their Harry Potter colors. And this one's called Honey Dukes. It's the same exact colorway. This one's a little more brighter, but yeah, it's the same exact thing. Same exact thing. So I have two balls of it. So I want to do muscle burrow with one and socks with the other one. But I don't know if I'm going to get to that. I don't know. I'm feeling like I have... I don't feel like my knitting time has decreased, but I'm not really, f I feel like I'm not finishing stuff. I looked through my notes and so far, so this is uh, March 17th. I've only finished three things. So my grams out is not going so well. I mean, I'm, I think I'm plus, plus 69 for the month right now. So yeah. I'm feeling a little defeated, but I'm just keep on chugging along. That's probably because I've been working on bigger projects. I can't tear myself away from this, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just, I feel like I'm not finishing stuff, but I'm knitting all day long. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right, that is my finished object. My whip, whip number one. This is Bags by Awesome Granny. I had a viewer ask what size this is. This is the medium one. I didn't think to, I, I did uh, message them, but for anybody else that's curious, this is the medium size. And I got back, I got out my, my scrappy, my scrappy socks. So this is my Opal Advent from 2022 from Purple Circle Yarn Co. I got more balls in here. They just all wouldn't fit in here, so I did like half and half. So I didn't work on these. I got these out yesterday and man, I went to town. So I have markers on each where I was last time you saw them. And that is a sock. This is from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. She had a, she has a scrappy Monster Sock Cal. There was from last year. She still has them up in her shop. So I just decided to do the scrappy. That's a little monster. Because they're, they're monster socks. Some people call them monster socks. But here's what I have. So the markers is where I was last time. So we got about 30 rows on each sock-ish. Done yesterday? That's pretty good. So I'm doing 64 stitches. Um, I 
like I said, these are Opal Advent Minis. Random. If you're curious about my markers, I will leave a link down below for a video that I follow or that I use or helps explain it better than I can. <laughs> um, Chowgu Red Lace 2.5 millimeter, which is a US 1.5, 32 inch cord, magic loop. I'm doing them in tandem. One is attached. One is attached and one isn't. So I do a little bit on one and then I go to the other one. And so that's how I'm doing it. Oh, at that base. Beautiful. I love scrappy socks. I love scrappy anything. Who am I kidding? <laughs> so yeah, this is what I have. I would love to have these done by next week or next episode. I feel like it could I can happen as long as I don't as long as I can like tear myself away from my next whip that I'm going to talk about here <laughs> I'm having a really hard time I took a pause yesterday but today I'm like I want to work on it so yeah so that's my scrappy socks I'm doing this for the easy peasy scrappy sock cal hosted over on Instagram by everything shapes us I only did one pair and this is the 17th. I think it ends the 31st. So I feel like I kind of like skimped out a little. I think last year I did like six pairs of scrappy socks. It's okay. I did, I did a DK pair and these ones. That's good enough. I'm not worried about winning prizes. I really don't care. I just, I love joining the knitting along, knit alongs. So that is my scrap, my scrappy socks. Now we'll talk about this whip. It is kind of living in here. It's kind of full, probably because I have my stroll on there and all my tools and stuff. So this is Knit for Brains on Etsy. This is one, I think is this is our large wire frame bag, I believe. Got my yarn and all my sticky notes in there. <laughs> And my sewing my needles. Okay, so this is my Garter Marler cardigan by Stephen West. It's not done. See? I know you were all like, did she finish that? Oh my word, did she finish that? <laughs> no, I finished the sleeves though. So I'm counting the sleeves as a finished object. Sleeve one. I still got all my bling on here for my decreases. <laughs> I want to take notes before I uh, put notes in my product project page before I um, take those off so then I can, if I want to make this again, because I think I would definitely make this again 100%. Yes. Um, I think someone mentioned, I don't know if they told me on Instagram or if it was on Ravelry, I don't remember, but um, I think they were making it, they were having, you hold two fingering weights, double. And they did like a solid color and then a fleecy color. And I'm like, oh. I also would love just to do like, maybe not fleecy, but just other scraps like that. One, like one gray, cause you know, I love gray, like a dark gray and then just have all these pops of color. Oh. So I am making the adult, Adult. It's adult. I'm making the size four, which is a 47 inch bust. Um, I wanted to roomy. I want to roomy cardigan. Also, I forgot to mention in the uh, earlier, before I got started, I am hosting a knit all the West Knits Cal over in Ravelry group, in my Ravelry group. That will also be linked down below. I didn't say that. Everything I talk about today will be in the show notes right down below. <laughs> Oops. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm hosting a knit along. The pet, uh, the rules, knit any Stephen West pattern. It could be socks, hat, shawls, sweaters. It doesn't matter what size the item is. Um, and whips are allowed. That's it. Um, and it ends May 31st. That's it. Okay, more about this. Um, I'm doing the 40, the size four, 47 inch bust. My collar and my hem here, 
my sleeves, my cuffs, and my collar, and my hem are going to be, this is Nipix Stroll Dove Heather and Ash. Um, the rest is Nipix Felici Help Double. So my sleeves, I did them a little different. Um, you were supposed to, for my size, you were supposed to decrease to 48 stitches. And um, I decided, no, I didn't want to do that. So I stopped at 56 stitches. I think my last decrease is right here. Oh, this is hard to show. Let me move over here. So my last decrease of 56 stitches is right here. And I decided that I didn't want to have it that tight. I, I don't like really tight sleeves. I think this sweater is supposed to be, is meant to be like a very fitted sleeve. And I was not... I'm not about that. And this is going to be a layering piece and I wear long sleeve uh, t-shirts in the winter so I don't want it to be all bunchy. And my my long sleeve t-shirts are very oversized also so that's why I went decided to do a 47 inch. I think my bust is like a 39 or 40 um, I'm using US, I use US sixes for the collar and the cuffs and sevens for the body. And my armpit is like right up here. So it's very, here's the C sleeve split, but my like true armpit is way up here. And I, I don't like all that bunched up in my armpit either. So that's perfect. That's perfect. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I love it. Um, I'm going to have to, so all I have left is the body. The body says to make it 12 inches from the underarm. I don't think so, Stephen West. We're going to go longer. I want this thing to cover my butt. So I am so thankful, past Lisa, for deciding to do the sleeves now. And so now I could just do the body and the hem and the button bands and I'm done. I feel like the sweater is like half done already. Um, let's see, I'll turn around so you can see where I was. Uh, yeah, you can see my stitch marker. There's my stitch marker. So that's where I was last week. So I did a little bit more. I split the sleeves. I think I mentioned last week that I was like this close to splitting for sleeves. So. I split for sleeves and I did the sleeves. So I was on Sleeve Island for like three days. So it took me a day and a half to do each sleeve. And I think I did my cuffs. They're like two and a half inches, maybe. I did 16 rows on each cuff. It's beautiful. Yeah, now that I'm wearing it. It is very warm and it's not, it's only half a sweater. <laughs> I mean, my back isn't even covered and it's toasty. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm sad that I'm making it now when it's the weather is starting to warm up and I won't be able to wear this. But once fall comes, I will be ready. I will be ready. So I don't know, maybe next week if it's, I don't, I'm not going to have it done by next week, but maybe next week I'll just keep wearing my whip. I'll just wear it next week too, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I just decreased to 56 stitches instead of the 48, and I, I think I knit uh, either 20 or 30 rows, something like that. I think it was... I did my decrease and then I did, yeah, it was probably 20 rows, 20 or 30 rows. And it has a nice I-cord. Oh, I love that, an I-cord on the collar. It's beautiful. Love it. And I made sure to make the sleeves a little bit longer because my, my pullover, they are not Quite long enough but I had still I have I blocked it oh my lights flashing hopefully the bulb doesn't come out <laughs> so yeah maybe this summer I will block that sweater 
garter marker pullover. So I'm probably gonna be doing this summer is blocking some of my knits because my penguono, I have it right here in case. I got it right here. I need to give this like a really, really good wash. And it's pilling like crazy, but I don't care. I need to like depill it. So once it starts to get warmer, I will give that a nice bath because it needs it. Because I've been wearing it all the time. Have I washed it? No. Is that bad? Probably. It's okay. So yes, I'm going to give that a good wash, a good glean and depilling, and it will be ready for next winter and fall. But now, now I'll have this to like rotate. Mm, looks like that. Okay, enough about my cardigan. I just, I just can't stop talking about it. It's just beautiful. Love it. Okay, my last whip is my Cozy Memories blanket. Oh, another thing that I thoroughly enjoy working on. I have been doing two scores a day, so I did 14 this week. Trying to do two, if I do two squares a day, I will have this blanket done. The squares will be done like August. My goal is to get this finished before my um, youngest birthday. Her birthday is August 26th. It's going to be close. Um, I cast it on, on her birthday last year, so I'm kind of like trying to get it done in a year. I think I can do it. Unless something happens. Oh, I get sick. I just don't want to work on it anymore. But so far, I'm enjoying just putting in two squares a day and putting it away. So this is, this is The Coziest Memories by Kemper Ray. Fingering weight. I'm doing 20 by 20 stitches instead of 23 by 23, which is the, what the pattern is. I'm doing 25 squares across this way. I'm going to be two, 20 rows up. So I have... I'm at square 198. I will put in square 200 today, guys. Oh, 200. You probably see it already because after I do it, I'm going to take a picture and I'll probably post it on Instagram. But 200 squares, so I'm 300 squares away. I guess right now I'm 302 squares away. So here is. Friday squares and that is uh, Twin Mountain Handcrafts. I bought a coffee set so there's there's a coffee bean, this one, a coffee cup, a to-go cup, French press. I, think, I don't know there's five of them I don't know if that's it but yeah my coffee cup broke so I had to put my little uh, coffee was that a decanter what is that called? Is that a decanter? You know, I'll know what that is. <laughs> so there's Friday squares. Saturday. Sunday. Monday. That's where I was on March 1st. That's also the, that's shaking. Stop shaking. That's the French press one. Oh, love it. This one is mustache yarn. I forgot what day it was. What day was I on? <laughs> I always do this. I get yakking and then I forget. All right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm just using scraps. Some of these are scraps from socks. Some of them are uh, minis, swaps, advent calendars. I'm using everything. Oh, look at this. I'm eight rows. Oh, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I will definitely, oh, my needles are poking me in my sweater. <laughs> I will definitely be making another one of these. This is my second one. My oldest daughter has my first, which was going to be mine, but she absolutely loved it. So it's hers. And my youngest said, where's mine? And I said, okay. 
Oh, I'll show you the back before I fold it up. So this one's for her, and then I will make one for myself at some point. So here's the back. I have been weaving in my ends as I go, which is a pro tip. So I usually do my two squares and then I weave in the ends. Do my two squares, weave in the ends. I used to like wait a whole week and do it and I'm like, you know what, this is nonsense. Let's just do two squares, weave them in because a whole week's worth was just 14 squares. That would take probably like 45 minutes to weave them all in. So when I have four, I like to, when I have four squares, I like to weave the ends in. So that's why this row has ends on it. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna put in a square 200 today. I'm so excited. Starting to get heavy and big. I'm gonna regret, well, I guess if during the summer months when this thing gets bigger, it's probably not gonna be nice to work on, but I think if I like do my squares in the morning before it gets too hot or wait and do them in the evening, I should be okay. I, I found a way to position the blanket so it's not all in my lap while I work on it, so. I think I'll be all right. And that's my blanket. Oh, that's it. I have nothing else to say. I'm using a US 2s. Yep, 2s, 2.75 millimeters. Signature needles, the straight ones, 7 inch. And the midi tips because I use my finger to poke, to move the yarn. So, nope. I think the midi is the in-between. I think they do have, they have a stiletto, midi, and a blunt. So the midi is the in-between, and that's perfect for me. All right, that that's all my knitting. That's it. We'll talk about reading and watching, and then life stuff. Okay. Uh, washing. Just staring at my show notes here. Okay, watching. My husband and I are still watching Andor season one. It's gotten better. Like in the beginning, it was kind of slow, but I'm liking it now. So we are watching that. I think we have like three episodes left. I think after we finish Andor, we're going to watch uh, Boba Fett. I think that's what we decided. And then after we finish that, maybe then we'll start Mandalorian season three. I think there's only three episodes out right now. I don't know how many there's going to be. I'm assuming eight because I think all the rest of the seasons are eight episodes. Oh, I love Mandalorian. It's the best out of all of the Star Wars TV shows that uh, we have seen so far on Disney Plus. That is the best one. In my opinion. I do like all of them, but that one is the best one. <laughs> all right, for watching stuff on my own, I am like halfway done with Supernatural season three. I'm rewatching this. Um, I love it. I keep talking about it, and I think everybody should go watch it. If you have something, if you need something to watch, to binge watch, there is 15 seasons of this, all right? And each season has about 20-ish episodes. There's a lot of episodes. Oh, the best. Love it. And for Disney movies, I watched four this week. Usually I just watch three, but I watched one on the weekend because my husband had to go do something. He had some errands to run, so I decided to watch. I decided to watch a movie. So I watched The Sword in the Stone. I don't remember that one that much, but I loved it. It was very good. A lot of these, I used to, I went to daycare and I remember watching all of these movies so much, so much. It's like when we had like, like in the winter time we would watch a lot of movies and if it was rainy, we would watch a movie. 
So it's taking me back. I mean, I didn't like take care, but it's just taking me back. <laughs> and I watched Jungle Book. I love that one too. Oh, and this one I have a hard time saying. Aristo Cats. I keep wanting to say Aristocrats. It's Cats, C-A-T. I remember this one a lot, but I did not know what the name of the title was. Once I started playing it, I'm like, oh, I remember this one with the kitties. It's with the cats that get lost and have to find their way home. <laughs> and then I watched Robin Hood. I love that one too. Good. So that's all of my watching. Reading. I finished a book, guys. Are you, are you impressed? I finally finished the Caterpillar Summer Book. That is a book that I'm reading with my kids that they're reading for school. It was okay. I mean, it was, it's a middle grade book. Um, last year they did this, like the whole school read. Um, their building is fifth and sixth grade and everybody read the same book for March because March is reading month. Last year's book was so much better. I had such high hopes this year and I'm like, me. Hey. It was okay, but last year's book was better. Last year's book was Coyote Sunrise, I think. I think that's what it's called. I don't know the author's name. Look it up. It was good. I love that one. But So I finally finished it. Yay! I finished one book in March. <laughs> and um, so now I can get back to Invisible Library. I will have that link down below with the author name because I can't pronounce names. I can't do names. So yeah, I will get back to that. And that's it for reading. I still have not been doing any audiobooks. I'm just not in the mood. I need to get in the mood because I have my Audible got renewed and I have 12 credits and I'm just like, meh. Just every book I pick up, it's like, it's not not doing it for me so I'll still chug along on that uh, invisible library I usually read before I go to bed it doesn't help that we have Disney plus and it's only we're only gonna have it for like two or three months and then we're gonna you know switch over to something else so I'm like trying to watch everything that I possibly can <laughs> or want to because I don't know when we will get it back again I know we will, we're going to cycle through a bunch of them and we'll eventually come back to some of them, but I have no idea when we're going to. So I'm just like, I got to watch all the Disney movies. And then I watch my podcasts in the afternoon and then it's like, that's it. And I, I read before bed. So that's my reading time right now, which is like maybe 10 minutes a night. <laughs> all right. That's it for reading and watching. Life stuff real fast. Weather. It's been kind of cold, kind of warm. We had a bunch of rain last night. It is very cloudy right now. I don't know if we're getting any more rain today. Most of the snow is gone. There might be like little piles here and there that the sun, when the sun doesn't hit. Um, yeah, there's piles where the sun hasn't melted it yet. Uh, I think it's supposed to be 49 today. The high but it's windy so it's not gonna feel like it and it's gonna be cloudy all day probably so it's not gonna feel that warm uh what else happened this week uh, parent teacher conferences fun times over zoom that's even better it's even better <laughs> i just I mean, okay, I, I love the idea that we can just stay home and just, you know, get online and do the conferences and I have to, like, go out and come back and go out and come back. But it's not the same, like, doing it in person. But it's okay. I don't know. Eventually, maybe they'll do in-person uh, conferences or maybe just that school building said, you know, what, we're just doing them online because it's easier easier for the teachers I don't know so they were virtual again this year um, 
yes, yeah, so it's like almost the end of March. I think we have like two more weeks left of March. So that means the kids have like April, May, and like half of June, and school is done. What? Where did the school year go? So we'll say they have about three months left. Dang. Can't believe, yeah, that's like, it's the 17th. We're almost done with March. Time. What is time? Um, I don't really have anything else. Last of the pumpkin spice creamer is gone. Um, yeah, nobody had, we didn't have any doctor appointments or anything like that this week. So it was kind of chill. We just hung out. The kids have a half day today for conferences. So they will be home here in probably hour and a half ish. It's nine. It's 9.27 right now, a.m. Yeah, I think they're released at 10.40. I hate half days. Half days are dumb in my opinion. <laughs> I'm like, see you in two hours, because that's what it feels like. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. I'm going to continue to work on the sweater. I think I'm going to work on this today after I do my squares. I'm going to do my squares today. I'm going to work on this. And then after dinner, I'm going to work on my scrappy socks, I think. <laughs> because these needles. Oh, I got my stitching, stitching plaza oh, stoppers. But these needles, it seems like the chuggoo's like the bigger the needle. But like, it's really loud when you knit. And it kind of. I know it bothers my husband, so I try not to do it too often, but you know, if I'm kind of mad at him, I'll do it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to just to do it in the afternoon. I did it in the evenings. And it's funny because I, I used my Chowgu uh, shorties for these. And for the sleeves, you have to knit a row, purl a row. When I purled a row, it wasn't as loud as when I knit. So you could definitely tell like, okay, it's quiet. I'm doing a purl. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So yeah, that is the plan today. Squares, sweater, scrappy socks. Um, maybe that will be for the whole week. Um, I do have, I'm not going to cast on a sock just yet until I finish those scrappy ones because they've been on my needles for a long time. I need to finish those. Um, I forgot to mention on Fridays, we like to do movie nights here at my house with my kiddos. So we've been watching, since we got to uh, Disney Plus, we've been watching the Star Wars movies. I have seen them all many times. My husband has seen them all many times. My kids, I think, have seen them like once each. So my kids decided that they wanted to watch them in order, number order, and I'm like, oh, I can't handle this. I like to watch them four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. But they wanted to watch them all the way through, you know, in numerical order. Numerical? Is that a word? In number order. <laughs> so I think we're watching number five today. We're up to number five. Um, we might stop at six because my husband does not like 789. He does not like them. So if he doesn't want to watch those, I don't know. I, love, I like them, and if my kids want to see them, he'll just have to suck it up and watch them <laughs> but if, if for some reason we stop I will watch seven eight nine on my own so I think we're gonna watch number five today which I think is my favorite is that Empire Strikes Back I think that's the one that's my favorite I still don't understand all the titles I don't have the titles memorized I just know one two three have Jar Jar Banks and I don't like those as much <laughs> <laughs> and I like four, five, six because those are the originals. And I like seven, eight, nine, but I don't know the the titles. Okay, I think I've blabbered on long enough. Rambled on. Yep, we are at forty minutes. It's the perfect time, right? Forty minutes. Um, 
be sure to go over to my Ravelry group and join if you are knitting a Stephen West pattern. I checked out the... I don't do it every day. I need to do it every day or I need to do it every couple days. But I'm like, whoa, I haven't went in there all week. So I went in there last week to look at everybody's beautiful Stephen West patterns. Oh, it makes my heart so happy to see all of the Stephen West patterns because you all know I'm obsessed. Stephen West is my favorite designer and I... I need to branch out, but I can't, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> Someday I will. But he has enough patterns, and he pumps out those patterns like n nobody's business. Um, if he, like, quits for some reason, I probably have a lifetime of knitting his patterns. A lifetime. That I wouldn't have to go to somebody else. <laughs> okay. And just stop rambling in this. So be sure to be sure to go over there and check it out. Join if you are knitting a West Knits. Um, yeah. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down below. I do love reading them. Um, yeah. I really don't have any questions for you. Are you enjoying the knit along? Are you joining? I don't have any questions. No questions, but I do love all of your comments. I love reading them. Okay, this is getting awkward now. I need to end it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.